Hello friends, welcome to Democracy 3 and a new social experiment. I decided to do this uh, in light of the 2016 presidential race with its lovely field of contestants on both sides. And I wanted to see, you know, from a simulation standpoint, obviously this is not real life, this is a simulation. I wanted to see how two candidates who had in, in many ways diametrically opposed views would do. And I've basically picked two of the candidates. Um, I'm going to go with uh, the Donald on the Republican side, and I'm going to go with the Burn on the Democratic side. These two candidates um, have very diametrically opposed views on many on many things. So it'll be very interesting to see, you know, that they're both such extreme cases on both sides. So it'll be very interesting to see how they play out. Now, the rules of the game, <clears throat> we are playing with some mods. Uh, I've got like Department of Education, Disasters, uh, Fiber Optic, LGBT Rights, uh, Situations, Policies, Sex Ed, a uh, bunch of stuff like that. I don't, don't care about the other countries. but uh, And a big one is uh, extremism, which allows me to get... Uh, extreme investment, which allows me to have unlimited money. Because one of the things I want to do is see, you know, if we were allowed to implement, or if they were allowed to implement their policies as they wanted them to be implemented without worrying about the financial impact, you know, how would that work out? So the way, the, the winning of the game basically will be, can they survive to the end of a second term? Either A, will they be assassinated? Or B, will they manage to be reelected? Um, so we'll find out. And basically what I'm going to do on the money side is they're each going to get um, 10... 20, 20, 30. We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll make sure they both have the same amount. We're not going to go massive. They're not going to have like a trillion dollars or anything like that. I'm thinking more in the neighborhood of 10 to $20 billion a year uh, additional for their own personal pet projects. Uh, and we'll assume that these monies come from magic fairy dust. Okay? Uh, so my goal is to play through as both candidates and to play through um, as much into their mindset as possible. Um, I'll have some audio clips of their positions on certain issues uh, as needed. And I will, you know, I'm going to keep my own politics out of it. So, you know, if you have comments and stuff, remember that I am playing this as that character in a way, in a way they're both characters. Um, uh, and um, I'm going to be trying to extrapolate based on what I've read, heard, watched. I do watch a lot and listen to a lot of political news, so I feel like I have a fairly good understanding of their positions on many issues. Um, so we're going to uh, give us a shot. So I hope you guys enjoy this little run. I don't know how long it'll take for each character. Basically, what we're going to do, again, is... Will they survive to the end of the second term? And if they both survive, it'll be how popular they are at the end of that second term. All right? So let's get to it. All right. In this playthrough, folks, we will be playing as The Burn. Bernie Sanders, uh, self-described socialist, democratic socialist, that is. So it will be implementing his policies. Um, again, we'll probably be doing about one year per episode, which gives us four turns or so. And at the end of each turn, at end of each video, that'll give you guys a chance to give me some feedback. I will play this kind of turn-based. And my goal, again, implementing their policies as much as possible. Again, we'll be playing as... America! And... The player's party is the Social Democrats. And we're playing against the Republicans. Two terms. Four years each. 50-50. We're moving that to 50% as well. Slightly more engaged audience. Two terms. 
No earthquakes. I mean, earthquakes, hurricanes allowed. No compulsory voting. No monarchy. Perfect. All right, let's get elected. Woohoo! All right, so right now GDP is low. Unemployment is high. Crime is high. Poverty is meh. Education is eh. And health is bleh. Let's begin our term. So right now we came in and we are crappily popular. Crappily, crappily, crappily popular. So who who likes us? Uh, patriots are cynical about us. The wealthy are eh, state employees, kind of like us. Religious, kind of like us. Everyone likes us. No. All right. So first things first. Uh, some of the big. Pushes for the burn are healthcare. Single payer healthcare is a big push for him, and also um, uh, anti corporate stuff. So, first thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and implement our extreme investment cheat for $25 billion. a quarter. There we go. So now we've got money to implement our policies. So first things first, um, we want healthcare. So healthcare is our number one priority. So let's go through here. And we need to find state health services. Excellent. That's going to cost most of our points. So you get each turn you get points to spend. So we're going to do, yep, and that's going to cost us, holy cost, $282 billion a quarter. So we're going to have to pay for that somehow. So we, we've given ourselves $25 billion a quarter. we got to come up with 200 <laughs> Wow. So we just push through that. We just push that through. So in order to pay for that, we're going to need to raise taxes on a lot of things. Okay, that's gonna that'll pay for a big. Yeah, that would be eighty billion, but we need twenty-seven points to implement that tax. Uh, we can't afford to raise corporate tax yet. I'm not going to mess with sales tax. I may lower it later. Car tax. But we could put in a hybrid cars initiative. It could be really good for the environment. So let's go ahead and implement that. That'll help reduce the oil demand as well. Uh, yeah, I can't really, can't really do that yet. Sorry. Sorry there, guys. All right. So will we, I think that's pretty much all we can really do right now. Um, so I'd like to, we'd like to improve that, but taxes is going to be the first thing we got to pay for our, our, our medical care. So that'll be our first priority. Let's go to the next turn. So they see how things go. All right, so our upgrading for our credit rating, good. We still have our, we still have that because it takes a little while for the healthcare to take it take effect. The global economy is doing good, uh, up to five percent. So not a huge gain. Um, they're loyal and passable, uh, and the traditional values alliance hates us. Why do they all? Why? Why is it? Why do they all hate? They're haters. They just hate everybody. All right, so we've got 27 points. So let's look at our you know, capital gains. We want corporate tax. So we need to raise the corporate tax. That'll pay for... So look at that. Boom. Boom. Paid for. Totally paid for. Single-payer health care. 
Done. All right. But that's not the where it starts. So we'll uh, we'll look through a few things. We need to go back to this for the Donald. Um, school vouchers. Standards. So we've got eight points left. Um, we need smart handgun. Controls. Smart gun control. You need a license, but you can have your guns. 40 points to modify that one. Wow. You can tell that's it's, it's hard to adjust that. All right. What else can we do? Oh, that's going to be investment. Small business grants. I'm not opposed... Small businesses. We should do something on pollution controls to help improve the environment. Um, not worried about our border controls. Um, let's do something with public transportation. What can we do? Let's look at our policies that we've got to implement this time. Uh, welfare. This might be good. Yeah, clean energy help our, help our uh, help the environment out. It's not going to cost us too terribly much. So let me go ahead and pump that up. I think right now we've got we've got money. We've got three points left. Not a whole lot we can do. Let's go ahead and go the next term. All right, alcohol. Uh, should we ban alcohol advertisements? So this is the same one we got for the Trump. Uh, Law is crazy. Uh, we probably should. Uh, yes, we want to try and make everyone healthier. So let's ban alcoholism so we've got our surplus still well we're still not moving up we're not becoming more popular at all which is interesting um, they're loyal and adequate which I think is better than loyal and passable and they still want to oppose us okay uh, let's see what else we can do for health care And education. We wanted to try and get free uh, free college as well for all students. So I think at the college level, um, so if we could do that, that's going to cost us. 18 points to give free education student laptops but let's see if I can do a little more I can actually be more a little help more helpful teacher training water why are water purification why is water purification under oh public services yeah science funding sex ed abortion law state health services so let's look at policies and see if we can do university grants. Yes, we want this. So, generous grants for every student. Uh, we want we want the best education system we can get. So we want to put that together. We want to help stamp out racism as well, and social justice. Uh, this one's going to take us... Preschool school, eye tests, adult education. We're focusing on, on 
uh, healthcare and on education and on screwing over Wall Street. Social justice. Let's do this. Let's give it the most money. And let's go ahead and do the uh, thing you do here. Disability, economy. I think we could probably implement a business startup campaign. Okay. Uh, let's see what's what else what else we got going on here. Um, we'll probably look at legalizing marijuana later if we have the points for it. It's going to take a little bit of time to get there, though. So teacher training. We probably can we invest a little bit more in teacher training. Let's do this. And how about... Got a university grants are all the way up. State schools. Oh, I couldn't implement that yet. Okay. Oh, we can do comprehensive set. Ah, good. Explicit, uh, yeah. Teach the kids how to keep their wangs separated. All right. So that's good for this turn. Go advance to our next one. Oh, that's yes. ah. Working people too hard. Uh, oh, limit the number of hours work to be better enforced for by the central government. Okay, so businesses are pushing people too hard. We can we can work on that. Um, global economy is doing better. We're still at five percent of the vote, which is really interesting. And you know, playing this both ways is really it's, that's really interesting. Um, they still want to get rid of us, and they're loyal and adequate. Okay. All right, so what can we do to let people work a little less hard? The energy, business startups, space, technology, pollution, the working week. Can't really do a whole lot there. Is there any policies that we can do? Worker safety, maybe? Um, oh, maternity leave. This, I know, is something that the burn speaks about quite often. Um, so let's implement this. Ooh, that cost a lot of points. That cost a lot of our points. Um... Uh, this might be good. I mean, it's not a big thing to implement, but uh, every little bit helps. Labor bank, Labor Day bank holiday. Uh, hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go with that and give it the maximum in the smart meters. Okay. Um, we have four points left. Is there anything else that we can do that will impact 
how much people have to work. This is private healthcare is going down. It looks like. Okay. Um, got one more turn left in this episode. Hmm. How can we impact the work week length? We need to probably go a little bit more pro union. Yes, that's going to help the work week immensely, but it's going to require 27 points. So we can do this in the next quarter. All right, so let's go ahead, advance to the next quarter. Hopefully not get decided. Uh, squatters rights. Let's look at this first. Large empty house is one of the best in one of the best neighborhoods of the capital has been taken over by homeless people. The house has been unused and empty for years and lawyers are now arguing over whether or not squatters have a right to maintain remain the property. The landlord wishes them to have them evicted. All right, I'm going to speak out here. This is this is Rongo's uh, viewpoint on this. I just recently read an article that banks are sitting on more houses that have been foreclosed or are vacant then there are homeless people in the country perhaps th there's a solution that's all i'm going to say it, it just does not seem that does not seem right to me uh, i i agree that it's not a simple cut and dry thing but it's a good first start so anyway, let's go look at back here. And I think I know what Bernie the Burn would do in this case. So give property to squires. If people have become so wealthy they can own multiple houses and leave them empty. If, whilst meaning, meanwhile, we have some consistency with nowhere to live, then it's only right and fair that these homes be put to good use. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. I... I uh, I don't really agree with either side of this one. So, um, uh, I think we could start here and we can discuss the matter further. All right. Uh, 8% votes. We do have, we had a slight increase in our support, but supportive. They're not loyal to us any longer. So we may have some cabinet issues later on. So a case as well, the, the, your cabinet, the loyalty affects how many points you earn. Like, so for example, this guy likes us a lot. This lady is yeah, with us. This lady does not like us at all. Um, which is surprising because she's a liberal socialist. <laughs> um, but she's not loyal to us and we only earn a little bit of points from her. So the more loyal and effective they are and how experience wise, you earn more points for a political cap of political capital. So that's a little sad to do that. Anyway, we've got the points now to do our work week labor laws. We're going to switch them over. Oh no, we don't. I thought it had enough points. I didn't earn enough. Ah, I gotta wait. And we are on the turn. Oh, so this one went a little faster. Um, so we're not going to make any more choices here until I get your guys' feedback. So let me know. Again, we're playing this one as Bernie Sanders. Uh, socialist, uh, democratic, progressive side. Um, and his big points are uh, single payer health care and uh, maternity leave and making Wall Street pay for the whole thing. So that's what we're trying to try and do in this one. Uh, if you guys have suggestions on policies that I should be trying to implement for this one, let me know. In the meantime, I remind everybody get out there and vote in 2016. It's been Ron the Bold. Hope you guys are enjoying. Talk to you later. Bye.